Does the President, in your opinion, have the authority, acting as Commander-in-Chief, to authorize warrantless searches of Americans' homes and wiretaps of their conversations in violation of the criminal and foreign intelligence statutes of this country? I, I think you're then getting into Category 3 um, behavior by the President. Uh, Justice Jackson did not say that the President did not have any ability to act in Category 3. Um, although, as I said, I'm not sure I've, there's ever been an instance where um, this, the courts have said that the President did act appropriately um, in, in that category. Um, it seems to me it's difficult to imagine a set of circumstances given the hypothet well, hypothetical that you have used and given the statutes that you have referenced that the President would be acting in an appropriate way um, given the, ja the Jackson um, construct, which I think is, uh, is a good one. So you see FISA laws under Category 3, right? Yeah, I think the FISA law, it's a good statute, and it has an exclusivity provision that seems to me to be pretty clear. Can you discuss with Senator Hatch whether or not there was some kind of independent inherent power of the President. Is there anything in the FISA statute that makes you believe that the President has the ability under some other inherent power to disregard the FISA statute? No, I do not see that in the um, FISA statute. Well, thank you. I think that's a very important break in favor of the rule of law that we've been waiting for in this country for many years, and I appreciate that answer.